Okay, so here I have a disposable Bic lighter. Uh, this is the kind that has the four to six inch barrel on the end, uh, extended reach so you can get into like a charcoal grill uh, or maybe a low line candle wick without burning your hands or your fingers. Uh, this one in particular doesn't work anymore. Uh, the spark is still good, but if we look at the level indicator on the fluid, uh, we can see that it's bone dry. Uh, I thought it was kind of silly to throw these things away and spend uh, another four to six bucks uh, for a new one. Um, so I thought, well, maybe we can make it reusable or or find a way to uh, refill it with our own butane canister. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we'll take a screwdriver and remove the only screw holding the two pieces together. Tap it out. And uh, take a flat blade screwdriver, running it along the seam here uh, to break the seal uh, that's holding it together. It's just glue and uh, a few plastic pins. And if we get inside, we can get at the reservoir, which when we look at it, uh, looks oddly enough like a cigarette lighter, right? Um, so there's a couple differences and I'm going to go over those. Uh, first thing you want to do is disassemble a new lighter um, by removing the windscreen, the flint wheel, spring, and flint. Uh, and now we can get a better look at it and see that um, they're almost the same. If we take the fork, spring, and jet off the new lighter and keeping that upright. Take the fork, spring, and jet off the old lighter. Um, the only difference really is the jet. The jet off the uh, extended handle lighter uh, is a bit taller so it can reach in and actually get into the barrel. Um, so we don't really need this stuff anymore off the new lighter, but we will keep these components from the old lighter. So we'll go back and reinsert it. New, the old jet into the new lighter, spring, the fork. We put it all back together, do a quick functions check. We can reinsert it in the body. Just make sure that the end of the fork or the button uh, is in line with the trigger. We'll open it up, slide it back in so it seats. It's not really difficult, you just got to get it into this little cavity. And then uh, close it up with a screw, but um, if everything works right, you get a light. Uh, so just uh, put the screw back in there, and if you want, you can even run a little bit of uh, glue on the end, some cyanoacrylic or uh, crazy super glue. Um, button it up until it's uh, dead again, and then you can just repeat the process, save a little bit of money. So anyway, hope you like it.